My name is Isaac Alvarez Cardenas. I had the Healing the Wounded Spirit Mental Health Wellness Program, and also a tribal member of the Tapilan Kwawiteke Nation and a spiritual uh, practitioner and a mental health counselor. Sage to bless the land, this event. We have a, a seasonal dance called the Bear Dance. It's about healing. Again, we're going with community healing. About five ish, get that fire going real good, six ish, and then come in here about a little close to eight o'clock when we see that red sun and then uh, we'll start with our sweat. So you're gonna get a bunch like this, just a handful, like that, All right? Then you're gonna take one of them. Then you're gonna take this this one. And that's your string, right? You're gonna tie it like that. And we're just gonna wrap it. See? Just wrap it. Wrap it, and then when you get about right here, you're gonna go around like this, and you're gonna go through there. See? That's gonna make our roof. a bunch of you. We're going to do it step by step. Now, if you ever had to make a shelter, maybe you're out in the wilderness, you know, you can use grass, palm trees. Good. Now you want to move it just a little bit to the top. Good. Let me see. That's good, too. Have you done this before? No. Yeah. Well, you're a good quick look. <coughs> yeah, I'm gonna move a little bit. All right. Okay, now we're gonna take them over here. This is where the bears change. Yeah. Let's take a look. See what we're doing over here? Let's see what I've done. See what I've done? You put yours in. Find a place. Okay. So put it in first. Put it in. Right there. When I had children and I made a family, I came back to these ways. You know, and I'm thankful for it. Just like my kids, they were brought up in these ways. They would sleep in a lodge like this. You know, they know about the sweat lodge. They know all about these things. So I raised them, little ones like that. But now they're men. You know, they're, they're starting their life. They're in their 30, one's 37, one's 34. And they're starting their lives. And it's sad, because I'm, I'm by myself with just me and my wife in the ceremonies. And I see other children come and I remember, that's like my son. It's my sonny boy. Joey, what do you think about the lodge? I want to go. Yeah? If you don't want to go, you don't, you don't have to go. It's just, I don't know. Is it too long or too hot? Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah? Because my mom always tells me, like, the four prayers. Mm -hmm. And I know that, but sometimes I need a break. Yeah, well, I believe so, too. Sometimes you can get carried away with prayer, you know? You go mm -hmm. too far. Yeah, because sometimes... You forget about your responsibilities. People get sick from doing it. Yeah, sometimes you get sick. So you have to, like... Come here. Come here before you put that. You have to think if that's what you want to do. That's why you're given a choice. You have a choice? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's why you're given a choice. You got that tied right? Where is that I need a new one. Right where... Keep coming along this way. Well. To finish the row, 
Then we're going to do the very top. I think that one's where you change. The bear does just change. Are you excited for the sweat lodge? Or uh, what do you think? I don't want to go in there. Why is that? Too hot. It's too hot? Mm-hmm. It is pretty hot, no? Mm-hmm. Huh? Come on, interview. How about you, Nico? What do you think about the lodge? It's hot. Like, in the lodge, it's hot. Out here is too. Yeah, it is too. Yeah. You know what needle fishing is? Yeah. What is it? No. Needle fishing is you use your hand to get the fish. <laughs> <laughs> because it's pop out like you. Yeah, they bite you. They hold on to it. You know, when you commit yourself to being a drummer, you're supposed to be that uh, that energy, that extra energy that that is fed to the dr to the dancers. You know, um, while everything's going on, you know, they're in their own world and uh, taking on people's burdens and people's hurts and and anger and frustrations. Because this ceremony itself is not done just around the seasons. You know, it's done around healing. And, uh, and so anytime somebody needs some specific healing, you know, somebody's dying or just sick, you know, and they want some prayer, you know, they'll call on these, these bear dancers, you know, and they'll call on this drum to, to, to come out and help, you know, and help heal and, and, uh, and, and carry those burdens, you know, for those people. Put some like insects on there. I mean, like, I probably won't do this for a lot, but we'll see. Are you feeling nervous about it? Well, I just said we didn't have to if we didn't want to. And so, um, I might not. I'm probably not gonna do it. This is a corn husk that's going to hold everything together. And these prayer ties or uh, food offerings have foods that the bears like to eat. So a little bit of honey, just a few dots, a little bit of raisins, a little bit of nuts. And then the tobacco is for the spirits. All of this is going to go together. You hope we're holding on to it and putting our prayers into it. Fold it up and tie it together. At the end of the ceremony, you just put it into the fire so that those prayers can go up and the bear spirits can enjoy and hear our prayers. I'll put this with you. How are you
Yeah, we just did two rounds. We're gonna do the last two after they do the dance. Ceremony. What'd you think? It was kind of hot. Not as hot as I thought it was. Not as hot, what else? Did you like it? Uh, Did you enjoy it? Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed it. What kind of things did you do? Uh, sing songs. Um, and they. That's oatmeal. <laughs> they thanked us for helping out and. And. What do we like about it? There was a lot of teachings that we lost. When the strangers came over, they burned their books, they burned, you know, they cut the tree down. But what they didn't do is they didn't cut it to the root. So the tree's going back, we're rerouting, we're reconnecting all these young people. We had three young men that want to be dancers. Say, okay, all right. We're gonna be dancers, this Joey and, and Justin and, 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 and Nico. And I said, okay, well, we'll see. I'll be watching you. I'll be watching. But they're still children, you know. They have to play, they have to do this, they have to not listen. But you can tell that they, they even said that in the lodge, little Joey said, I want to pray for, I want to pray for some men to help me be a man. And my nephew said, you found him. We're here for you. Man, that was so powerful. That a little boy would ask that. And I want a man to teach me how to be a man. You know, I'm thankful for that.